So hi guys, um, this is, welcome to the atheist vlog. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm an atheist. That really has nothing to do with this channel. I figured just by saying like, hey, I'm an atheist, it might bring more attention to this channel. Yeah, I'm a, an attention seeker. Um, yes, I am technically an atheist, but no, it doesn't really matter, at least not in my personal opinion. I just wanted to get more views because I figured by being like, oh, I'm an atheist, I might get more views. But I decided to start this whole vlogging thing. I'm inspired by a lot of people who vlog every day and who have vlogged for years, and I watch a lot of people who vlog, so... Even though, unlike those people, I'm not in a relationship, I don't have a baby, I don't even have an interesting pet like some of those vloggers do, I still figured I would talk to you guys. So this is kind of a vlog of my life, slash me talking to you guys about mostly probably rants and stuff I want to get personal opinions about. So, yeah, this is my kitty. He's a very uninteresting pet. He's really boring. Say hi. Say hi. He's like, uh, no. Um, so, this will be interesting. My first vlog ever, and I'll continue to always vlog on Halloween. Um, because technically this video will be out on Halloween. <clears throat> Sorry. My bad. So, so in the spirit of Halloween, I guess I'll show you my shitty decorations. Normally, I'm a huge Halloween fan. Like, Halloween is probably one of my favorite holidays. But I admit that this year I totally was like F it. Like I didn't give an F about this year's Halloween. Um, because I don't know, because I'm working and I just started this job that I have right now and I'm like, ah, oh, I don't want to do it. So um I have decorations out, but the direct they're the oh my gosh, I can't talk. I have decorations, but they're kind of the decorations that I use every year, and like, well, that's most people, but I mean, like, I didn't do much with them. I pretty much was like, ah, oh, I'll just throw them on the table, good enough. So, um, I'll show you my decorations as soon as I clear all this stuff out of the way, because <laughs> it kind of looks really messy, because, again, I didn't give a shit, and so all my, like, my purse and my clothes and, like, all this stuff is like sitting on the table with it. Okay, let me show you now. That's my little witch. She's pretty cool. Then I have this creepy house and this creepy tree. And then I have this thing that says Happy Halloween. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all my Halloween decorations. Um, I'm late to the game. I literally just got a pumpkin and it turned out really crappy. <laughs> It, like, I don't know. I just don't like it. My Usually I go all out for my Halloween pumpkins, but this time it's, like, horrible. And then I have this stuff up here. Like, I have a thing, a bowl. I have a bat. I have a rest in peace. And I have a little witch that's laying down. And then I have, like, this and this. And this and this and this and this. And then over here, this is, like, the bucket where we pass out. This is my contacts. That doesn't need to be in the shot. But we usually put Halloween candy in here, and then we, like, give them to the door. Not we don't give them to the door. We give them to kids at the door. And then this is my other Halloween pumpkin. pumpkin. Um, and because this is a vlog, and you're soon going to find out everything about me, I'm a preschool teacher, and so that's why, in case you're wondering, I'm wearing a red polo shirt and khakis because I'm a preschool teacher. But um, my preschool I work at... Um, I'm used to the old preschool I worked at. We always went all out for Halloween. Like, we would, all the age groups, because the last, the last preschool I worked at and this current preschool have kids between six weeks old, which is like, obviously teeny tiny babies, and like, well this current school I work at can have up to 12 year olds, which my last school I think had up to six year olds. And, um, anyway... Sorry, stairs, man, woo! Um, <clears throat> but what I was gonna say was, my last school, we used to have a parade, and it was so much fun because the kids would do a parade, and it was just like super cute. Where now, again, <clears throat> still out of breath. I don't know why I am, I normally am not. Um, 
kind of embarrassing because I'm fat and I know I'm fat. And I'm normally not this out of breath. I think it's because I'm like hurrying to get ready, but I also want to start vlogging, so I want to vlog but also get ready. Anyway, we usually go all out for Halloween at my last school. <clears throat> and this school though, it's not like that at all. It's actually quite the opposite. Um, this school, they're having a pajama party and a movie, and kids can dress up in their pajamas but not in costumes, and like supposedly it's because they're like trying to respect everyone of every religion and they don't believe in Halloween or whatever, but I'm like, I think it's because the teachers are lazy because, <clears throat> sorry I keep having to clear my throat, um, I went to a staff meeting a long time ago and they were talking about like what are we going to do for Halloween and at that time it's so funny because at that time it felt like so early like I was like we're already talking about Halloween it's so early but now it's like not which is just kind of funny um anyway and they were like oh do we have to do something I don't want to have to do a Halloween party because it's so hard and I'm like I remember being in the toddler room which is where I worked for like two years. I was just in the toddler room. What the fuck are you doing? Get out! Get out! Uh-uh! Out! Fuck! Are you okay? Are you okay? Shit, man! Fuck! Are you okay? Oh, oh, my poor little guy. Jesus Christ, cat. Oh, shit, I just threw it in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> what were you doing? Can you even see him? I don't think you can. He's at the top of the stairs. I do not believe he just did that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I cannot believe he just did that. Um, anyway, I feel like this year the teachers are just, and they were saying that they were just being lazy, and, um, so I'm like, come on, like, when I worked with toddlers, this is what I was saying, but when I was working with toddlers, yeah, it was hard because they're between the ages of one to two years old, and they're like one-year-olds, and so it's hard to get them all because we would have them, like, go through the whole day, take a nap, and then once they woke up from nap, we would, like, change them all into their costumes, and then their parents would come in, and we'd do the parade, and, like, don't get me wrong, it was hard, because some kids don't want to wear costumes, and then other kids, like, I don't know, wake up late, and, like, all this sort of stuff, and so I was like, yeah, it was hard when I did it at my last preschool I worked at. It was really hard, but, like, it was fun at the same time, and I liked it. Even though it was hard, it was also really fun. Uh-uh. I saw you go back over there. No, no. No. You little shit. God. Oh, Mr. Hammy Hams. Mr. Hammy Hams, you need some food, Mr. Hammy Hams. Um, yeah, I have hamsters. I have that one, and then a few of them died. Not gonna lie, a few of them have passed away. I don't know if this one's still alive. I check on them pretty often. But, um, oh, you must be alive because you're moving. And this is the same sort of hamster, they're sisters. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Hi, cutie. I'm not talking to you. My cat's like, oh, like, are you talking to me? Am I the cutie? No, you're not cute at all. This is cute. I don't even know if you guys can see it. But, um, that's my other hamster. Super cute. They're sisters, but they started, if you notice, the other hamster has a bald spot on it. And it's because the two sisters started fighting, and so I had to put them in separate cages, somewhat obviously. Because I was like, yeah, not cool guys. Like, please stop fighting. But they didn't. And supposedly hamsters can live with their siblings. But, I don't know. But anyway, one other thing I was going to show you was, I, like I said, I usually go all out for Halloween. But this year, not only am I not going all out, but I haven't even, like, 
I'm trying to think of, like, you know how they have those websites that are, like, last-minute costumes? I'm trying to find one of those websites where they have those last-minute, stupid, silly kind of costumes. And I'm, like, willing to get one of those kinds of costumes because, yeah, I literally have nothing to wear. Um, I, and I mean, like, it doesn't matter because it's not like I'm going trick-or-treating, but, like, I don't know. I wanted to, like, if I answer the door, you know what I mean? Like, if I answer the door, um for trick-or-treaters, I'd be like, oh, it's cute if I dress up, too. There should be another hamster in here, but, like, let's be honest. There's no way of knowing if it's alive or not. Oh! Hello! You are alive! Sorry. So I have, like, a ton of hamsters. They were all born... They were all born? Duh. Is that, like, a no-shit Sherlock? Um, <laughs> so, my robo-hamsters which is what we call them. They have another, like, more official name, but their nickname for us, like, for me and my friend, um, the Robos, because it's, like, a shortening of their names. Anyway, so we had two hamsters who we thought were girls, two girl Robos, but one ended up being a boy, and then they had babies, which are the two girls I just showed you, and the parents passed away a long time ago. And then we decided to, on purpose, breed two other types of hamsters. I think they're Chinese dwarf hamsters. And this is the mommy. Come here, mommy. Okay, she's running away. <laughs> I might not be able to show you because she's like a runner. Come here, mommy. She kind of looks like a little mouse. Like, that's what I like about her. She's very, like, mouse-like. You see her? Can you see her? You're so cute. Why is your ear all red? Shit. But can you see her? Ooh. Sorry, that was probably way too close. And then the babies are always running away. Don't know why. It's really obnoxious. So, like, there's supposed to be a baby in here. But let's be honest. Let's be honest. I don't know if there's going to be a baby in here or not. Because they keep running away. Or dying. Or running away and dying. It's... No bueno. But I'm curious to see if it's in here. Let me see. Let me see. Oops. That was awful. Not in there. Where are you? Well, I'm not going to, like, spend my entire morning trying to find it. I hope to God it's in there because there are already two loose hamsters. That sounds so bad, but they escape all the time. Trust me, I try my hardest. Like, I literally do everything in my power to get these hamsters to not escape, and they always escape. So there's t currently two escapees, and like I said, there should be one in here. But I don't know where it is. I'm not going to try to find it. It's probably in there, just like hiding, because that always happens to me as well. They'll be like in there, but they're hiding in there. So it's like hard to find them. Okay, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on, out. He can't ever be in the hamster room. I have to like double, triple, make sure that he's out of the hamster room. Huh, mister. Huh, mister. And I don't even think I told you my cat's name. It's Felix. Oh, beside the hamsters, I was going to show you guys my last minute Halloween costume. But I thought of another one that's even better. Oh, shoot. I almost said the other S word. Um, I actually thought of another one, but the shirt is out in the garage. So I'd have to go out in the garage to get it. But last year, I went as a cowgirl because it was really easy to go as. Um, and this is my cowgirl hat. It's actually not mine. I borrowed it. And I have, like, um, I have cowgirl boots I bought last year. I purposely bought cowgirl boots last year. My hair is crazy, I know. <laughs> but I purposely bought cowgirl boots last year because of it. And my dad's like, when are you ever going to wear it again? And I was like, you don't know. I could, like, not think of another costume and have to go as that again. And sure enough, that's what I'm doing. I have to go with the cowgirl again. But... Um, I have to go into my garage and get my plaid shirt.
because I don't think I have any other plaid shirts. But my other costume I was thinking of, which I've gone as this before, um, did I already tell you guys about my, so the reason why this costume is really easy for me to go as is because, um, is because I, I'm pretty much, I'm Portuguese. And in California, in this place in California, there's like a bunch of, I don't know how to explain it, there's like a bunch of Portuguese family, and all my Portuguese relatives live there, and they always have this like Portuguese parade pretty much, and like if you're in the parade, which I was one year, um, you have to wear like a crown and wear a dress, and so because of that reason, going as a princess has always been really easy for me to do because all I have to do is wear this crown that I already have and um, I have to find the dress but I could always go as like a princess and I don't even actually think I have the dress anymore I might have gotten rid of it I don't actually know yeah so it's a good thing that I have a cowgirl backup outfit because I totally got rid of the dress hey Get out! I told you already. You don't belong in here. This is the hamster room slash guest room that's never used as a guest room. <clears throat> it's the hamster room. Anyway, but yeah, I could always go as a cowgirl. So that's actually probably what I'm going to do. And I'm glad I thought about that because I was totally going to do the princess one. And then I was like, oh, but I don't have a dress. So yeah, cowgirl works out perfect. There are my cowgirl boots. You probably can't even see them. Let me take them out. These are my cowgirl boots. They're totally like not somewhat obviously not like real cowgirl boots. Like they're totally like fake. But it's Halloween, so no one cares. Um, and then, like I said, my really crappy cowgirl hat. It's all ripped and stuff like that. But I'm like whatever. And then I guess I could do my hair if I really had to. Like, what is that called? Pigtails or whatever? I'll do, like, pigtails. The only time of year that you can be an adult and get away with wearing pigtails. I swear to God. <laughs> Actually, now I just thought of this. I have... Hold on. This is bad angle. <laughs> I have this as well. Oh, God. You can't see it. It's, like, a denim jacket. Is denim cowgirl? I don't know. I'm, I might see. Like, what if I wore, like... Cowgirl boots, pigtails, um, a cowgirl hat, and then obviously jeans, not obviously, but jeans, and then a plaid shirt with the denim on top. Would that be like too much or do you think that's very cowgirl? I don't know. I'll see, but I have to get my denim shirt out of the garage because I was, I never, I'm not denim. I keep saying denim. I mean flannel, flannel shirt. I kept saying denim over and over again, but I hope you know what I mean. I meant flannel shirt out of the garage um and so we'll see how that looks but that's probably what I'm gonna go as it's pretty easy to go as that um but anyway that's my Halloween it's like I said it's very boring I usually go all out I usually am like yes Halloween my favorite holiday but yeah this year I'm like nope F it. Like, I'm so not into it this year. I'm so not. I think part of the reason why I was into it last year was because the school was into it. It was because the school, like, the school decorated the hallways and we had the parade and, like, even the, like, infants would dress up for Halloween and it was, like, so cute and, like, exciting. I think that's what made me excited for Halloween every year because I was like well at least I can dress up at work and you could you were allowed to dress up and come to work like dressed up um but I do admit that most of my coworkers didn't dress up like I was usually like the only coworker that dressed up me well that's like I said that's when I went out as a cowgirl because me my one other coworker oh no my other two coworkers we all were all in one classroom and we all decided to be cowgirls together. And then there was another classroom that all decided, they were in the baby classroom and they all decided to dress up like babies together. And um, what was I gonna say? And But that was it. Like that was pretty much all the people who dressed up. It was like the people, the girls in the infant room dressed up as babies. And then the people in my room dressed up as cowgirls, but then that was it. So. 
but it was still fun because it was fun to see the kids dress up and like like I said before like I've said a million times now yes it's a hard work because you have to get like one year olds ten one year olds all dressed and ready for their parents and not crying but um it's fun I'd show you my outside but I don't think even the outside is decorated should we check I hate to have to lock the door again I'm such a lazy bum I actually have to go to work in like two minutes but we'll see Woo! it's really bright out here oh it is kind of decorated so, so this is my pumpkin and then the bats look horrible but these are the bats that are supposed to be hanging up wow wow that's awful that looks really bad and that's a witch that's supposed to be hanging up but it's not and then we have this pumpkin and this pumpkin and that little pumpkin and then oh hi you want to go outside no he's really scared of the outdoors like the outdoors freak him out anyway we should put this pumpkin out now yay oh wait i just saw that whoop it's all covered in vaseline I was told to put Vaseline in it, so I did. Let's go put it out. Let's go put you out. Ooh, getting brave, huh, kitty? Are you getting brave? You've never been outside before. Uh-oh. Um, guys, this is not good. I'm covered in Vaseline now. Seriously, I have Vaseline all over me. Let's see. My front door. Just cover that part up. Woo! Pretty, oh look at the pretty kitty all nature. Look at the pretty nature kitty. Do you like the witch kitty? What's that? What's that? Look, I'm catching your first moments outside. See, I'm glad I'm vlogging so I can show your first experience outdoors. I'd show you my neighbor's house because their house is really cool, decorated too, but I feel like that's like, I don't want to like do that. <laughs> Because that's their property, you know? Kitty! But if I could show you, I'd show you why my cat is very intrigued by my neighbor's Halloween decorations. Oh, you're going back inside? I scared you, didn't I? Yeah, that was kind of funny. My cat really liked my neighbor's Halloween decorations. And he was, like, intrigued by them. And I wanted to show them to you guys because my neighbors went all out. My neighbors did a really good job of decorating but um what is it called i felt like that'd be really weird obviously i'm like look there's my neighbor's house um i'm not gonna do that <laughs> so and my neighbors are literally like i live in the kind of housing area where all the houses are right next to each other um which can obviously be annoying because like um what am i trying to say all the houses are literally right next to each other so it would have been really simple for me to show you my neighbors because the houses are literally on top of each other here but yeah I didn't want to show my neighbor's house even though it's really cool because yeah coffee so I have to go to work now um I someday will figure out a way of vlogging having like a camera somehow set up in my car because I would love on my rides, my drive to work, I'd love to talk to you guys because it's like a half hour drive for me to go to work and I'm so bored all the time going to work. So I'd love to talk to you guys and like vlog on my way to work. That's honestly also part of the reason why I decided to start vlogging was because I was like, hey, I would like, I'm honestly like, would love to vlog and drive to work so I have something to do on my way to work, but like, sorry, I'm putting my shoes on, but like, I, you know, I don't have any way of like setting the camera up and I'm, I'm a really, I'll go more into this story later, but I'm new to driving. I literally just started driving and part of the reason why I put off driving for so long is because driving scares the hell out of me. And so, because driving scares me so bad, like I, it's honestly, truthfully, it's the number one way to die. 
And I don't know, I'm more comfortable with it now because I used to also say that I would never listen to music on my ride. Like I used to be like, oh no, music is too loud. It's too like distracting. I would never do that. Um, but I've definitely taken that back. And I totally listen to music now when I go to work. But um, I would still somewhat obviously never hold a camera. But, well, some walkers hold a camera. But anyway, I wouldn't personally not be able to do it because I am a super cautious driver. And I just learned how to drive. And I honestly have only gone one route. My entire driving experience has only been me driving to and from work. Like, that's it. So, um, which is probably why I'm more comfortable listening to music now. Because now I'm like, oh, I'm used to this, like, back and forth drive. No big deal. I can listen to music. But if I were to ever drive a different route, I probably wouldn't listen to music. But anyway, what am I trying to say? Oh, so if I figure out a way of safely setting up my camera, safe for me and my camera, and vlog, I will figure it out. But for now, I guess, this is goodbye. Until after work when I will probably not vlog anymore. I don't know, I might show you me trying to get ready for Halloween tomorrow. Not like getting ready, I guess like getting my costume ready. I don't know, but like I said, I've already told you guys, it's pretty simple. I do like the bare minimum here, people. I know, like I said though, I normally don't do the bare minimum. Um, but this year I am, because I don't care. But anyway, so bye. I don't know if this is like the end of the vlog, or if I'm gonna vlog when I get home. I don't know, because when I get home, my dad's home, and I don't feel comfortable yet, like, letting people know, like, hey, I'm going to vlog my daily life. So, for current reasons, for, not current reasons, currently, I'm going to probably end the vlog, because, when, like I said, when I get home, my dad will be home, and he does not yet know, because this is my first day, and I don't plan on doing it again, vlogging, or not, I can't talk. I plan on doing it again. I plan on doing my daily life, but I don't plan on telling my dad yet because he does it in general, he doesn't believe in YouTube, and so I'm like, yeah, I'll just not tell you. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to vlog after work, but, so if this is the end of the vlog, then goodbye, and happy Halloween! Ooh, don't give a shit like me! Um, but if it's not, I'll probably talk to you later. Okay, Hi guys, so I know I already said goodbye once, um, but I figured I would say goodbye again. Why? I don't know. Um, I'm actually trying to get some food. I'm having a midnight snack. It is literally, um, I don't know if you guys can see it. It is literally 1 o'clock in the morning, so technically, guys, technically it's Halloween. How exciting. Um... But like I said, I'm not really doing anything for Halloween. But um, I'm just getting a midnight snack because I'm so hungry. Um, but while getting a midnight snack, which I probably won't even get because there's literally nothing to eat. Um, but while getting a midnight snack, I figured for some reason I would say goodbye again and say happy Halloween and happy first vlog. I hope this is the first of... Sorry, that was really loud. I hope this is the first of many vlogs. I hope that this channel will continue to grow and have many subscribers. Not necessarily subscribers, but I don't know. I just, I hope to vlog often, and I hope that, like, right now, my life is pretty boring. I pretty much, I work, and I'm going to school, and I live with my dad, and I don't know, my life is just really boring, but like I said, I like to talk to you guys, because I like to like tell you my thoughts and get opinions and all that, which is why I'm vlogging, but at the same time, my life is really boring, so it's going to be interesting for me, not like, I don't know, I guess fingers crossed, that if I do continue this whole vlogging thing, it'll be interesting to see if my life changes and how it changes, I suppose. Um, but, yeah, right now my life is very, very boring. I just am looking for a midnight snack, man. I got the munchies, man. I really do. I really want something salty. Well, I mixed, because at first I really wanted something salty, and then I was like, no, I want something sweet. 
But now I'm back to really wanting something salty. I don't know. Where's the Halloween candy? Let's be honest, that's why I'm down here. I need my Halloween fix. It's Halloween, right? I can have Halloween candy. Why does this cabinet have to be so tall? I'm too short. I'm 5'8", but I'm still too short for this thing. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, bitch. Hold on, I'm gonna get this eventually. Is it up there? Ah, look at it. Nope. Ah, darn it. The Halloween candy isn't up there. I don't know where the Halloween candy is. And that's another good adventure for me. It's like losing weight. Even though I didn't really sound like it just a second ago. Uh, but I've actually been doing really good. Um, I made another video on another channel. <laughs> See, all my channels that I start, I never finish. But I have been doing a really good job on my other channel I showed how I've been making smoothies with like bananas and not avocados, but with um, apples and peaches and bananas and strawberries and stuff. And um, in my personal opinion, <laughs> I've been doing pretty good about the whole weight thing, so hopefully that'll be another interesting thing, is maybe over the course of these vlogs, I'll be skinny someday. Someday. I will be skinny someday. Um, but yeah, so day one, of course, I said the same thing on my, like my weight loss channel, um, so <laughs> we'll see if this continues. It's a possibility that I won't. <laughs> and I don't even know, like, the thing is, like, so many vloggers are really good at, like, naming these vlogs. I'm like, what do I even name this? Girl rants about Halloween and life? I don't know, at her first vlog. Um, uh, girl throws hamster across the room. That's what I should name this one. Because <laughs> I did. You saw me. I threw the hamster. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. I was trying to save the hamster. But while trying to save it, I killed it. <laughs> I didn't kill it. He's fine. Don't worry. He's fine. My friend dropped him. Like, from up above. And, like, dropped him on the ground. Look at this cuteness. Oh, hi. Oh, what's that noise? Say, bye-bye. Say day one of the rest of your life. Say bye-bye. Meow meow. <laughs>